Go for it. All right. So just turn on your computer and be in front of your computer, okay? Yeah, I'm in front of my computer now. Pardon? I'm in front of my computer now. All right. So your computer is it on right now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you can see the all icons on your desktop? Yeah. All right. So just hold the line. I transfer this call to my senior supervisor, okay? And yeah. he's the only authorized person solve that problem. All right, sir? Yeah, no problem. All right, Hello? Hello? Yeah, am I speaking to Stanley? Yeah. So this is Andrews, the senior supervisor on the floor, and how are you doing today, sir? I'm fine. So is the computer on right now? Yeah. What you see on your screen, just let me know. Just me desktop. You see all your icons on your screen, sir? Yes. Okay, what you have to do, sir, you have to concentrate on your keyboard. On the left of the keyboard, at the bottom, you will find the control key. Do you see that? Yeah. Just next to the control key, what key do you see, sir? Uh, Windows key. Okay, all you got to do, sir, you have to press that Windows key along with the letter R. R as in rub, okay? Yeah. The flag and the R together simultaneously at the same time. Yeah. What's on your screen? Just let me know. Nah, uh, I've got a run command on the screen. Just type over there, C for child. Yeah. N for mother. Uh-huh. And D for daughter. Yep. What did you type, sir? CMD. On OK. Yeah. And what's up on your screen? Just let me know. Uh, black screen. Okay. You can see your documents and settings. The username over there. Uh, well, I've got a black screen on my screen. Um, I've okay. still, I've still got my main screen, but I've got a black box. You can see the cursor blinking over there. Yeah. Just type A for apple. Yeah. F for sugar. Uh huh. Add to sugar once again. Uh huh. O for orange. Yeah. And C for candy. All right. Okay. A S S O C. Am I correct, sir? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, press enter on your keyboard. Yeah. And what do you see on your screen? Just let me know. Uh, just a list of associations. Okay. I believe there's a lot of lines over there. Yeah, it's all the it's all the file associations. Yeah. Over there, sir, there is one line that seems to be the long line, and something like ZF sent to target is written. Do you see that line, sir? Yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, after that, what is written? Just let me know. Sorry? After ZF sent to target, what is written over there? Just let me know. Um, it, It's a big long number. Uh, C L S I D? Yeah. Do you know what C L S I D stands for, sir? No, I don't know. A computer license system ID, okay? All right. I'm going to give you license number. You just have to tell me if I'm correct or incorrect. All right, okay. It's 888-DCA-60. Yeah. F-0A. Yeah. 1-1-D-F. Yeah. 8-F-O-F. Zero zero C zero four F D seven D zero six two. Right. So this is your license number, which is giving us all the errors about your computer. Okay. Right. A computer has been designed in such a manner, sir. If a computer faces any kind of problem, we from the Windows department get the errors from this license number. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, close this black box down and open up the run box as you did earlier with the help of the flag and the yard. Yeah. We have the run box on your screen, sir. Yep, got that, yeah. Uh, what should you put there? Um, there's nothing there, it's just blank box. Uh, the run box, they type the name of a program folder. You have that? Yep. Okay, just type over there. Yep. I for Indonesia. Yep. N for Netherlands. Yep. F for France. Uh huh. Give it space. I type the word hacking. H A C K I N C. Yep. Give it space and type the word files. F I L E S. Files. Yep. So what do you type? Just let me know. Inf. Uh, I N F hacking files. Click on OK. Yeah. And what pop up on the screen just let me know. Uh, lots of uh, files in regards to Windows. Okay. Do you see the count over there? As so many items are there, do you see the count? Yeah. What is the count, sir? Uh, over a thousand. Okay. If you scroll down, just let me know if you can relate to any of those software files you're just watching on your screen. Yeah. Can you relate to any of them? Uh, no. So these are the hacking files that I was talking about, okay? Your computer has been hacked by somebody and they are using your company's computer for some other purposes and they are using it for some illegal activities, okay? Alright, I thought information files were uh, set up information files for uh, things like I'm drivers. And I'm no, no, that's a rabbit show. You don't have to worry about that, okay? Yeah, well, you're, you're saying the hacker files, but I'm pretty sure they're information files. Like configuration files? No, but these are the hacking software files which I'm talking about, sir. All right. They have, been they have been uploaded in your computer for no rhyme or reason, okay? Right, okay. Because, because having no connection with it. All right, okay. Okay. So, for what purpose do you use the internet for? Um, for everything, really. Uh, everything is for that, sir? Yep. Everything like banking and shopping also? Oh yeah, everything. Uh, are you the main owner of this computer? I am, yeah. And the sir, uh, does anybody else use this computer of yours? No, nobody uses it but me. Okay. Now what you got to do, sir, you have to open up the run box once again, close everything down and open up the run box once again. Yeah. First close down everything you see on your screen. Yeah, done that. Back to run box. Okay, you have the bread box, just type over there, www. Yeah. Type the word show, S-H-O-W. Yeah. Type the word my, that is all together, show my, N-Y. Yeah. P, C, that is P for Peter and C for Charles. Yeah. My P, C. Mm-hmm www.showmypc First P for Peter, then C for Charles. Yeah, got that. Dot com. Dot com, right, okay. What did you type? Just let me know, sir. Yeah, showmypc.com. www. Yeah, dot showmypc.com. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what's coming up on your screen? Just let me know, okay? Uh, this page is not allowed, apparently. Sorry? Uh, it's saying this page is um, not validated. So is your internet connection on right now? Yeah. It's Just take up, open up the Google page, sir. What browser are you using? I'm using Google. Okay, open up the Google page, sir. Sorry? Open up the Google page. I have, yeah. Okay. Do you see the address bar on top, sir? Yeah. Just delete whatever is written over there and just type www. Yeah. O S H O W show. Yeah, showmypc.com. I've done that and it's not coming yeah. up. Mypc.com, all in one word, sir. Yeah, I've done that. It's saying it's not authorized. Are you getting any options, sir? Nope, no options at all. It's just saying completely unauthorized, as if it was like, tell me not to go there for some reason. Okay. Do one thing, sir. 
delete that and type a new command that is www dot. Yeah. Yeah. A for apple. Yeah. And for mother. Yeah. And for mother once again. Mm hmm. Pi for Yankee. Yeah. Pi for Yankee once again. Yeah. Dot com. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, done that. Oh, this page has come up blocked as well. Okay. Sorry? This, this page is unauthorized as well. It, it, it keeps on telling us about um, FCC and stuff like that. Like, I, I can't explain it. It's just I'm getting some message on the screen saying this page has been um, okay, basically okay, blocked. Okay, okay. You know one thing? You close this down also? Yeah. I type in a new command, okay? Yeah. That is www. Oh, yeah. Type the word support. S U double P O R T support. Mm. Uh huh. Dot me. Dot me. Yes. www w dot support dot me. Right. I click. Yes. So see if we get any options. Um. Uh, I've got something, but yeah, it's on about support connection and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. I've got. I've got a page saying support connections and stuff like that. Is it asking you for the six digits, sir? Yeah, it's asking for six digits. Yeah. Okay, just hang on. I'm going to give you the six digits so I can get you connected and I can save your computer. Okay. Okay. I'm going to provide you with the six digits. So kindly stay on hold. Yeah, all right. Okay. Sir. Muppet. Muppet. I am wanting my six digit code, please. Are you going to get Yeah. Yeah, it's six two. It's six two, yeah. Nine seven. Yeah. Zero one. Zero one. Two nine seven zero one. Ah, nine seven zero one, yeah. Okay, now click on start download. Right. And you will further get some options. You just have to tell me and I'll tell you what to do, okay? Right, well, before I go any further, it's saying be cautious of taking no, on. No, no, no. That oh. is a fake update by the hackers. Just click on continue. That's. That I will, I will... No, that's log me in's uh, warning. I know log me uh -huh. in and won't, log me in always okay. warns you about things like this. You don't have to worry about that. You just click on continue and you get further options also. You can see, sir, you are unable to get connected by to my PC and AMI also. That means that your computer has been affected very badly by the hackers, okay? Well, why would why would somebody hacking want to block my administration I, to remote? I will show remote? you each and everything, sir. I will show you each and everything and what is the main purpose of the hacking. Okay. okay. I will show you each and everything. You don't have to worry about it. You'll see it in front of your eyes, okay? All right. Can we, can we just verify, you know, the... Um, the um, ID that you said before, the CLISD, um, is that genuine? Right? Is that genuine, the CLSID? Yes, every, yes, every computer has a license number, okay? And what, what does it stand for again? Right? What does it stand for? What, what does it mean? That is your computer license ID number, sir. Computer license ID number? Yes. Uh, well, as far as I'm aware, it's a, it's a class ID number. Every computer has a license ID number, and from there we come to know about the address, the telephone number, and the main owner of the computer, okay? Right, so why are you asking for a class ID number which is recognized by all computers as the same number? No, no, sir. Every computer has a different license ID. No, number. it doesn't. Because I've got two computers, in fact, I've got three computers, they all have the CLS ID exactly the same. You're using a okay. file association to try to con people out of money. 
because you are using the same IP for all the same computer, sir. All computers have the same ID. Because you are using the same IP, sir. Yes, because all computers have the same ID, so that's not unique to my computer. So how can no, you know no, if sir. my computer has a problem? To, what I'm trying to tell you, sir, all your computer you are using in the house are having the same IP. That is the Okay, what about all the computers I'm not using in the house at the moment, which I've just logged into, and they all have the same CLISD. They are not on my computer. They are not on my house. Because you have been using the same IP for all the computers, that is the main reason, sir. Yeah, you've gone very quiet. Can't I hear you? Sir, I'm telling you that you have been using the same IP. You only have one IP address. That is the internet portable address, sir. You're saying that's my IP address. That's not an IP address. No, what I'm trying to tell you, sir, that you have been using one IP, that is the internet protocol address, for all the computers, and that is why all your computers are having the same license ID number, sir. How can, how can other computers not associated to this internet connection have the same ID if they're not in the same ISP? But well, you're saying you're saying my internet is providing the same IP address for all the computers. The IP address has nothing to do with a, a password or a or a serial number. So because you have been using the same IP, so that is the reason of the, all your computers are having the same ID number, sir. No, no, no. Sir, if you buy a computer in your name, and you will get that one license ID number, okay? No. Are you sir? It's a class ID number. It's a reference number to association of a file type. Do you know what that is? Do you not want to remote my computer anymore? <laughs> the other person Booyah! Dead. The other person has 